Welcome to Boxer Briefs from Scratch, a video series where I'll show you to make a pair of boxer briefs like this one from scratch. First thing you're going to need is a bunch of paper and a printer to print your pattern on the website. You're also going to need scissors and sticky tape to tape your pattern together and cut out pieces. Afterwards, you're going to need fabric scissors, um, some thread and a hand sewing needle to um, mark the notches. You will need a serger, this is my one. If you don't have a serger, it's not the end of the world. Um, you can do this with a regular sewing machine too. Um, you just need to use a stitch that will keep the seam flexible, stretchable, uh, like a zigzag stitch uh, or a twin needle, or maybe you have a dedicated serger or overlock stitch on your regular sewing machine. Um, we're going to need some elastic. This is my elastic. Um, this you need, of course, to go around your waist. You will be able to find elastic in your lo local haberdasher, although I find, in my experience, it's hard to find nice elastic that looks good, that stretches well. So I had this one custom made. You could do that if you want. Um, last but not least, we're going to need fabric. Um, this is a rayon fabric. Rayon is a very um, light fabric. It drapes well, it breathes and it stretches. It stretches in both directions. It's really a very nice um, fabric to make underwear out of. It feels very light and cool on your skin. It breathes. It's, it's great. You could make underwear out of uh, jersey or some other sort of stretchable knits, but I really advise you to get rayon. I think it's the best fabric for underwear. Here's a sneak preview at the end result, but I'm just doing this so that I can show you the measurements you need. You need three measurements to make this pattern. First is your trouser waist circumference, which is just the circumference of your waist, which you measure at the height where you want your boxers to sit. So this would be it. Right, so that's the first measurement. Second measurement is your uppermost leg circumference, which you measure there. And the third measurement, you measure with your cross seam from here all the way through your bottom to the back. That's the third measurement. These are the three measurements you need to make the pattern. Um, apart from that, there's a few um, pattern options. First is the waistband elastic. Once you have your elastic you should measure how wide it is and enter that into the pattern. And the other pattern option is the so-called speedo rise. Now the speedo rise determines how high the boxers will sit on you. Now the speedo rise is the distance between what I call the speedo line, which would be the lowest line that you can wear your speedos that you're still decent, somewhere around here. And then the speedo rise is how much higher you want your boxers to sit. If the boxers sit a little bit higher, it's a bit more comfortable um, and, you know, if you get an erection, you don't get in trouble. So, these are the two options, waist bottoms with speed or rise, that you can insert into the pattern, apart from the three measurements, circumference of the leg and the waist and the cross seam. Okay, time to have a look at the different pattern pieces. The pattern, of course, you can get on the website. I'll put the link in with the video. It's free of charge, so you can get it. Just enter your measurements and your options, um, and you can download and print it. Um, and these are the different pattern pieces. First of all, we've got the back. There's a notch here at the top, and there's three notches here um, at, the, at the bottom. Um, I punched the notches in with a whole bunch, a single hole in the pattern. That makes it easier. Then we have this somewhat peculiar looking front, which is piece two. Um, we're going to have to cut two of these, only one of the back, two of these. Here's the side, also two of these. And then last but not least, part four, we have this inset piece, two of these two, there's a notch there. Um, so we're going to get ready and cut these out. Okay, I have my three um, first pieces laid out here. Fabric is double. I will do this one later because we only need one of these. With these we only double good sides together, so that's how I lay out the fabric. Now one thing you'll notice with rayon, but it's true for all stretchy fabrics, is that it's tricky to mark the fabric because when you mark and you draw a line, the fabric tends to like, because it's flexible, 
like clustered together and your line is all squiggly and it's actually hard to mark. To be honest, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So here's what I do instead. This is not detergent or some cleaning product. This is actually just plain water. And what I do is I spray the fabric around the pattern pieces like this. Now when I take the pattern pieces away, I can see very clearly where I have to cut them and I just cut on those lines. So basically, I just mark it with water. Okay, time to cut out these pieces. Okay, we only have the back left to do. Um, I'm just gonna mark it and cut it out as the others, but I just wanted to point out this is the grain line and take care that the grain line aligns with the grain of your fabric or in other words with the solid edge of your fabric here on the side. That's um, something to look into. Okay, so now I'm just going to mark and cut this. With the pattern pieces cut out we're almost ready to get started. We've got the back here, only one of these. We got two fronts on top of each other, um, two sides, two insets. Now, as you can see, I've transferred um, the notches here with the little thread. If you're not familiar with how to mark notches on a pattern, there's um, specific information on the website about that. I'm not going to repeat that here. Um, there's just one thing I'd like to point out. We have two fronts here, um, but that's just because we're going to have a double layer of fabric at the front of your boxers. So, what I need you to do is, the, you've cut them out good sides together. So what I did here is I took them and I flipped them over so that the good sides are out on both sides. And then I've notched them together so that they're basically, you can treat it for the rest, for the remainder of the construction, you can treat these two fronts as if it was just one piece of fabric. Because that's just going to be a double layer. When all that's said and done, we are ready to start sewing. 